Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are still busy with this question paper for our revision. So uh, in the previous video, uh, I was doing the cash book, the CRJ and the CPJ, and then a uh, first part of the bank reconciliation. So I will be continuing on this video where I will be doing part two of the bank reconciliation. So in the first video uh, or in the video number nine, we were busy with cash book uh, on the payment and the receipt side. But we entered the amounts that were appearing in the bank statement, but not in our books. As you can see, the reference, they say BS22101 up to BS22103. So these are the transition from the bank statement. And then we also uh, did uh, some on the cash payment journal. Uh, which is BS22104 up to BS22108. So as I've said, once you are done with these transactions, you have to close your cash book and then you go to do part two of the bank reconciliation by going to process bank reconciliation. So when you're in the process bank reconciliation, you will land on this screen which uh, you have landed on the screen uh, when we're doing part one of the bank reconciliation. So we are coming back here for the second time now. As you can see, we were, we, we were able to calculate this uh, balance on our bank statement. And then what you do, you click on next. So when you arrive here now for the second time, what is it that you're supposed to be doing? You are only going to tick all those items or all those transactions that has a reference of the bank statement, the one that you, you went to put on your cash book. For example, what are we going to take here? We are going to look for BS221001. So we have to take this one. And then we are going to look for BS22102. We are going to take that one. And then we have to look for... BS22103, you have to tick that one. And then uh, BS22014, you have to tick that one. And then we have to look for BS105. We have to tick that one as well. Then uh, BS22106, we have to tick on that. We are reconciling. And then now we have to look for number seven, BS22107. Uh, make sure that you tick that and then uh, we have to look for BS22108 uh, and then you have to uh, tick that, right? So once you have done that, you will see that your balance sheet, uh, I mean your BRS will say in balance. So that's what you are doing. You are doing the bank reconciliation. So in the exam, they will ask you to print this BRS. So how do you print it? You go to option and then you go to view reconciliation. At the moment, I'm going to view it on the screen. And this is how it's going to look like. This is how it's going to look like. Uh, the closing balance is per bank statement, the one that you've calculated, your outstanding checks, your outstanding deposits, and then uh, it will show that the difference there is zero, zero. So in the exam, if it didn't balance and you know that you have done everything, don't try to correct it. Just print uh, what you, you came up with here. Because if you try to, to, to do it again, you'll make more mistakes. So just leave it if you know that you have done everything uh, the way you're supposed to do it. So this is our uh, uh, bank reconciliation. So I'm going to print it. And then on the PDF, uh, and then I'm going to leave it here, BRS. So this is my BRS. And then this is how, uh, if I want to see how it's going to look like on a paper, uh, where's my BRS? This is how it's going to look uh, when, when it's printed. So uh, that is all for this video. In the next video, I'll be looking at the sundry transactions that are on page 19 how do we process them so if you find these videos helpful please subscribe on in my channel or as well as like my videos thank you